feel about Mondays? That's how I feel about Mondays. Fuck Mondays. to be taking care of some wounds that a caracal cat has received. Now, I'm not sure of the backstory on this. Um, this particular cat is not a very friendly cat, so I'm gonna go over to the office with him um, and we're going to treat this cat. So he's got a broken front arm. It's a little mangled up. Um, we'll see if we can get the backstory on this when I get over there. But at the end of the day, the animal's hurt, but we're gonna help the animal, plain and simple. So uh, I got the phone call from Shetler this morning because we've had the cat at the office since yesterday. We did clean it up a little bit yesterday. We knocked him down, did the x-rays, cleaned the wound a bit, uh, and then we went, ahead, we went ahead and did the reversal and woke him up to make sure that we could get this cat to eat because the cat's a little bit underweight, not doing too hot. So we want to make sure the cat's good before we start knocking him down because we're going to have to knock him down pretty much every day to uh, kind of clean out this wound, to breathe everything, and kind of get everything back to where it can heal. And then we got to figure out how we're going to replace what's there. Either it's going to be healing by secondary effect or it's going to have to get some skin and... Uh, we're not gonna be able to take uh, any skin from this cat. So it would basically be a skin graft on a cat. But stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to be at Shetler's. I'll let him explain this shit. He's gonna do it a lot better than I am. But just wait, just wait and see what we're about to do. It's pretty bad. But let's do it. Uh, boom. And then good last night though. Everybody say hello. Hi guys. Hey. We're going to make you YouTube not famous. We're fixing up the kitty cat. Going to make him feel better. There he is. Do our best. There's the fun part. Well, we're going to put a tube in his throat so he breathes better. So now we're going to clean up his wounds. <laughs> Alright, so basically we're intubating Mr. Kiki here so that we don't have to have this big old thing in the way. And we own his airway now. We're going to own that. We're going to own that airway. All right, you ready, Carrie? Yep. All right. And basically what he means when he says that is it's actually that. He wants some meat. He's definitely going to own that airway. So he's going to use this. And then he's going to blow it up so that we can actually and block it off so nothing can come back up through. forward as well. Boom, boom, and. Sorry if I'm in the There we go. We're right on. We're in like Flint. And we're just going to go ahead and unravel all of this gauze that I made a little Afghan blanket out of. <laughs> and um, then we're gonna tie it in. Okay, let's let his head down, please, and close it on the tube. Just close the mouth on the tube. Yep. Perfect, thank you. Perfect, we're gonna tie it below his ears. He's got extra big ears to hold it in, just like me. Okay, perfect. All the better to hear you with. And then we're gonna put him onto some isoflurane. We need to open our pop-off valve completely. We want to run them probably right around 2% and about one liter of 
There we go. Perfect. A liter um, of cola. Now let's a liter, liter of cola. cola. Exactly. Let's <laughs> lubricate his eyes, guys. Do not spit in that um, cat's drink. Here, you want? Let's use this gel for the lube in the eyes. Okay. And uh, we need to wash his water bowl too. I'm gonna put it right there so it's cleaned up. Um, Luke, just don't touch the metal to the eye, please. And then um, let's go ahead. Um, Carrie, we're gonna start cleaning up all these wounds. All right, just yes, like sir. you did yesterday. I am today gonna come back, put a pulse ox on it. I'm gonna come back today and cut the dead tissue out though, okay? Yep. Um, Can I do like a scrub on it or just, um, just the chlorhex? Mostly the chlorhex liquid. She got a basin and warmed it up right there. Uh, there should be, did you save the syringe from yesterday? Yeah. On the sink. I got it. That was not it though. I had a 35, I thought, yesterday. I might have chucked that one. Okay, let me get you a new one then. All right, so essentially what happened here was uh, we have this cat. It is a curacle. The cat is in rough shape. So apparently what happened is he was uh, out for a walk and he was wedged in between two cages. And then he was pretty much mauled on by a neighboring blind cat, nonetheless. <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me. I suppose for it being what it was, which was a jaguar, this cat is extremely lucky and unlucky at the same time. Here's the, this is an 18 gauge 35. Use this. Okay. Just and clean them, wipe them. Let me get you. You got a pile of gauze right here. Just clean them, wipe them up, and let's get this going. Yep. Let me um, switch with that. And then I'm gonna come back, yes, and take the dead shit off. Oh, no, dead we'll stuff off. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, those. Actually, you know what? Um, I have what? I have bigger curved ones. Good. I'll on use those. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need a pair of tweezers. I had them out yesterday, and then I didn't use them though. I put them back. Okay. He had two December prior. Okay, I think that's why I was just gonna, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Kiki here got, got in a little trouble and then he's got some fractures in his toe. He's got his fractures right here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna clean all this stuff, to breathe it. all needs to get debrided. Take all that dead tissue off so we can make it healthy again. Put him back on antibiotics, clean all this up. He already got him on antibiotics actually. Continue that. Yeah, we're gonna continue. We gave him a two week antibiotic shot. We gave him convenient. A two-week antibiotic shot is wonderful because you can't get him to take anything really easily by mouth. But um, he ate a nice meal last night. He ate a, a bunch of chicken with <laughs> cat food, chicken flavor, uh, and uh, kitten dry food mixed together. He actually tore, tore it all yeah, up. Ate yeah, the whole thing. He ate really, really well. Perfect. Um, so, and I think he's actually adapting well to staying here, even though he's only been here for a day. He was less grumpy today than he was yesterday. Um, yeah, so he, but was, he was pissed yesterday. He's a little bit better behaved. I think he kind of liked the food. He liked the hospitality. He kind of thinks it's like a Holiday Inn Express exactly. almost. Exactly. He's so on vacation today. He huh? stayed at a Holiday Inn Express, so he's good to go. Sure. But yeah. He does have a couple fractures um, in there. A couple little fractures. Green stick fractures, we call them, because they're like a green stick that breaks. Everything stays together. Um, so they'll they'll heal with time. He does have one bad fracture in his paw, though. Um, Are we wrapping it up? Or? We might try to do something. No, no probably not to wrap it up. And... I was reading about a fish skin yeah, tilapia collapse. fish skin oh, wrap uh they were using it on these that. these wild animals in california as a bandage because they say if they eat the bandage it's no big deal if they eat the cotton and all that other bandaging it's material it is a big deal yeah. so that was kind of oh so that's what it was they were wrapping it with fish yeah. skin i thought <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't read what he sends you. Because I thought they were using fish like skin to do graft, like a graft. They do, but it yeah. falls off. But it just yeah. it provides a it. Pro, it's like a better than a graft. Okay. Yeah. All right. So okay. we don't it have an environment fish skin. to grow in. We're gonna trim that dead stuff out of there. Um, we're gonna clean it all up. It's gonna work out. All right. So we're gonna prep this bad boy, and then we're gonna show you the real work when this guy comes in and start cutting up. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Boom. Mm, that garbage can closer. Fucking garbage cans. Now I work for Kerry. The fucking tables have turned. Oh, by the way, yeah. Kerry works for Shetlers now. Just so everybody knows. Don't get, that's why he's in the scrubs. I'm trying I to do both. I didn't make him I didn't make him put the scrubs on to come here. I just thought it would look cool. He just wanted to be like, I'm a vet too. I told him to come take care of the cat. He's like, let me get my scrubs these. Right. No, he's been working at Shetlers for the last couple of weeks now. He's doing well over here. Everything's going good so that we can roll out what we need to roll out over at the house and figure that stuff out, which is coming along nicely. Yeah. I'm going to tuck in right behind you. I don't worry about the phone. There's a lot. Yeah. So Kiri's basically cleaning the shit out of this so that the doc can come in here and cut out all the dead stuff. So essentially what's happening is the meat itself, everything around it is either living or dead. 
It sounds weird, but it's true. So you have all this necrotic tissue and shit that needs to be cleared away because with that in the way, it's just going to create infection yeah. and well, no room for new tissue to grow. Exactly. Essentially, whatever got traumatized from the bite loses its blood flow and that's slowly dying. So we got to call it, cut all that old dying stuff off to give all the new living stuff a chance to grow. Keep them on the antibiotics to prevent infection and really just keep an eye on it and do this a lot. Yeah, so this is gonna be like a daily thing. Guess what, I did this too, with that right there, with this arm, same thing. So it's basically uh, a long game. It's playing the old long con there. So you're basically cleaning it out every single day. And he's, like I said, we're gonna cut this tissue off. And I say we, I mean, Dr. John's gonna cut all this shit <laughs> off here. And uh, once the dead tissue is gone, then yeah, it's basically, me and Carrie sitting here scrubbing wounds day after day after day and you have to because then it granulizes unless that new tissue do what it's supposed to it's the same thing they do with my arm essentially so every single day they would come in and pressure wash it pressure wash it pressure wash it and then after about a month or so when it granulized which you'll see a video on all of this very soon but when it granulizes then you can actually put new skin on it which we're not going to do for this cat he's going to do a little secondary healing where it's going to basically you know leave a big scar but a scar is better than no arm isn't it yep i think so i'll off. take that scar all day long over them over the nubsies which i was almost there and this cat he was almost there too i feel like everything in their arms are getting Right. I should. I, maybe it's me. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you just you just got that the arm arm curse. Anything that's next to me is gonna carry. You better watch out, bro. Which, <laughs> I still got both <laughs> mine right now. Just make sure it's on the left <laughs> arm. I promise your dominant arm is less fun. Ugh. All right, so we'll get back on the dockets here. Let me work with Carrie here. Put this damn phone down. Since Madison is just out there having a great time. At least she's not having a great time. She's not really. No, she's not. She's I'll give her that time. much. She's not having a great time. <laughs> An right absolutely now. terrible time, but she's still gone. That's what counts. Oh, check it out, dude. It's weird with the finger because it doesn't doesn't go all the way. <laughs> all right, so Carrie's finishing up cleaning it up here. It's actually looking fairly decent for what it is. I'll take it just so that I give you guys a chance to see. Even on a small cat here, so it's a caracal. It's not a very large cat it's in the smaller family however still just as dangerous as his larger counterpoints look at those murder mittens bro that is some serious length right there as far as them claws go oh boy super sharp and those things fire out like crazy like that is a very large and i got a big hand too so to give you some perspective. That is some serious murder men stuff right there. Yeah, yeah. Puerto Rican cat got five switch blades. I got five switch blades. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, shake, mm -hmm. oh, shake. Yeah, you get grabbed by this thing and it's not gonna be a good day. Not to mention the fact that this dude's got some <clears throat> killer chompers in there too. So, anyway, we're paying attention to the pole socks here. The heart rate's a little lower than we would like it, but it's better than high, as Carrie says. So, I don't know about that. I'd rather be high than low, but yeah, I'll take it for what it is. But yeah, we got this murder mitten that we're just gonna try and get through. But you can actually see where he got clipped all the way through, right where Carrie just drained into it. That hole right there it goes through the other side. And then what Shatler was talking about with all the green stick fractures is all in here. But there is also, what's it called? A displaced fracture. A displaced so. fracture. I can't even speak. What? <laughs> yeah, it's a fracture. It's there. Ugh. Poor little dudesy. You can tell him whenever he's done, this is pretty much done. Okay. Yeah, so he's got a displaced fracture. And that's basically meaning that it's not there anymore. <clears throat> not that it's not there, it's just not where it's supposed to be. Oh boy. Well, the problem with this is there's lots of holes and that makes for good places for infection, but <laughs> we should be able to open this up pretty well once it's debrided. That's what she said. Yeah. Just like the hand sanitizer pump gently, that's what she said.
Hmm. She's a fucking white. All right, so. I think even if it lives, it's just gonna, I don't think it will. So we're trying to see what skin and stuff is gonna declare itself as alive versus dead. One of the ways you can tell that it's alive is it'll bleed when you cut it. If it doesn't bleed, it's probably dead. But we should, this is about a week old injury, so we should have pretty well declared edges at this point. Just little bits coming off. This is a flap that might not do too well, actually. I'm gonna trim some of that off. Let's see, so we got a little bit of blood there though. Yeah, we it's had good. beneath that too, there was like an oozer. So there's good flow coming there. I'm gonna get little snipsits and then I'll put a whole video together once it's yeah. solid. All right, uh, lift the, <clears throat> uh, rotate the cat a little bit that way so that we can lift that paw a little bit higher, please. Just pull this the leg towards me, the lower leg towards me, just to watch that tube doesn't come. There you go. I'll whack his head while Logos isn't too worried about his face. Let's see. All right, let's cut that dead out of there. Get a little chunk right there. And then another little chunk right there. Let's just cut that right there. That right there. Damn, done. Let's just get, although that looks healthy, let's just trim it so it's not loose. See how healthy that bled when I cut it? Yeah, it looks good underneath. Yeah, that's what you want it to be like. Um, I'm not sure about all this up here. This doesn't look too happy, but this skin all around here doesn't look happy. Let's trim a little bit of this off of there, actually. So basically you can see him methodically going through and basically cutting off anything that's darkened, dying, or dead. Let's see what we got now. Let's give it the best chance that we possibly can. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Right. Some flow looks in good. there, which looks good. Honestly, we, might, we can't really pull. We might actually be able to pull that down at some point, you know? Pull some skin down over that at some point and pull. Remember that lemur we did when we had to pull some skin on its face? <clears throat> yeah. We might can do something like that. Well, we thought oh, it was going to the be bone tight, right there, by the way. actually. It was closer right than I even thought. It's the bone right there. I said half inches, more like a quarter. Oh, good lord. Oh, right yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <sighs> it's okay. I mean, it sucks, but what are we going to do? Fix it. That's what we do. We're going to fix it. Gonna be an unhappy kitty for a little bit, but we gonna fix it. Its heart rate's getting pretty low. Is it? Let's turn the ISO down um, two clicks. Actually, let's go down one percent. Two clicks, hard to port. Honestly, that's about as much as we're gonna do today. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna do much more. So what we're gonna do is pretty much he's taking off all the dead skin. We're gonna clean him up one more time. We're gonna wash him because he was in a crate, so he's got some shit and piss on him we're gonna take that off we're gonna try and keep the area as clean as possible that way the the other area that's got all that meat missing from it can get a little bit better too so it doesn't drag it through but we're basically gonna be doing this like i said 
How long do you think this is going to take? I think we're going to do it every day for a week at least, and then we'll make a decision. Every day for a week, relive that conversation after that. Exactly. But it's a slow game. Well, like I said, it's the same thing as they did with my arm. We, might have, try some, we might have to try some tilapia skin. I saw it, I saw it on the internet, so it's got to be good. Yeah, but, yeah. As long as you YouTube, on YouTube it, bro. That's how he got this job. Experts. He YouTube. I studied it, this stuff on YouTube. <laughs> got a YouTube university right here, buddy. Degree, baby. <laughs> Master's degree of YouTube. That's all you need now. I am the bro. clicker of the videos. I can click them better than anybody. Uh. For real though, you get some good stuff out of YouTube, man. Now there is actually some really good information out there. We're just teasing. There really is. And he didn't get his doctorate on YouTube. He's got to go to fucking school. <laughs> <laughs> Google, man. Come on. Don't be lying. All right, so we're basically going to give Kiki a bath here while he's still sleeping and we can. And the wound itself is clean, but the cat is dirty. Yes. He probably was in a crate for a little bit. So he's got some shit and pets all over his fur. So we're going to clean this whole thing up. And it's warm water, so it kind of helps them out because they get a little bit cold when they're under. So we got some warm water going. We're going to bathe them up, get them all cleaned up, and then he's going to go back in the kennel so that we can repeat this process. Maybe not this process, but repeat the process of cleaning and to, well, how, you, I say debriding. What do you say? Debriding. The breed, the bride, potato, potato, the f yourself guy. <laughs> We're cleaning the wound. I'm gonna call it that. How about that? That'll work. So getting rid of dead tissue. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing that every single day. So we're gonna show you the progress during this whole video. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna show you the next five minutes of bathing a cat. You get the, you get the idea. I mean, the thing is asleep. It'd be cute and cuddly if he was awake and doing stuff, but it's just you know a cat laying here, lifeless being washed so i think you guys got enough of that anyway we're gonna be back tomorrow we're gonna take care of this a little bit more so we'll see you guys then and then we'll see this guy here soon with him and i doing some cages so that we can bring all of these things and the monkeys back home yeah.